fashion doesn't have to be serious to be really, really good. I've always been fascinated by things that are a little bit offbeat. You know, that's always been what's beautiful for me is that disconnect. I think the problem with saying something like brains versus beauty is exactly what we try to fight against. There's no reason that brains and beauty can't coexist. It's much more about restoring the original definition of beauty, which ultimately is interestingness. Advice for budding repellers? You do you, girl. When I launched Man Repeller, I ultimately wanted the site to function as a portfolio that would help me get a job. I realized about a year in that I was sitting on something that could be fiscally lucrative long term, and that's when I started taking it more seriously. City with best street fashion? London. Fashion is such an industry about the, the person. It's about making the person feel better. It's this, it's this very special relationship. It boils down to like what, what you find interesting. Heels or flats? Somewhere in between. I like a mid-heel. You could find me at three and a half inches. Ultimately, what's interesting about running a blog today is that it has become an industry unto itself, but it is still being run by relatively fresh indwellers. The only proven formula that we have is trial and error. So ultimately, we're just trying new things, and if they work, they do, and if they don't, then we try something else. That is really a tenet that I have stuck to in trying to grow my business. The most successful ingredient of your brand. Our voice is really, really authentic and we really don't compromise that for anything. Followers are a currency in their own respect. My dad is always like, you know, when I was in my 20s and I was starting my business, success was measured in dollars. It was not measured in a dense social media following. It's very, very cool to be able to affect a large contingent of people in a positive way. It's it's really exciting. It's kind of why I work, why I want to work. It gives me purpose.